Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do tutorials and reviews of affordable, inexpensive makeup from Walmart, drugstore, AliExpress, you name it, I've tested on my face and I pass the same to you guys. So in this video, uh, obviously this is a Halloween look. I'm gonna be painting myself uh, pretty much like Mother Earth, that was the idea. And uh, you'll see what happens. So if you guys are interested to see how I did this, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell below so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a new video. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time. I also go live every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time as well. So like, comment, subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter. The links are down in the description box. So let's get right into this tutorial. So this was supposed to be a review and a tutorial. So as I said in my latest profusion video that I got Halloween makeup, everything I tested was wonderful. And I did a little swatches on my hand of body and face paint, face and body paint base. And it seemed like this washed very well on the hand. But when I started to put them on the face, as you can see in the future video clip, um, they pretty much started to roll off my face. Uh, when I apply it with a paintbrush, obviously it's going to be kind of tricky. When I try to put it on with a sponge, they try to, it kind of like removes some paint and the paint feels kind of wet and weird and starts to roll off my face. I'm not sure what this formula is because I think it does have mineral oil in it. So this is an oil paint, but the oil paint from Amazon, which is very inexpensive, work, works real well, this one. So that's what I used. So this is iMagic Pro from Amazon. It's really inexpensive and it works really, really well. So this one is amazing. It's a little oily, I mean, it's oil paint, but it really works nicely. So I switched. So I took off all the profusion makeup and I ended up using that. So uh, so that's a whole point of profusion out of the window. So, but I did manage to create this look mostly with eyeshadow and some water activated paints. So I use this Midas Cosmetics palette and I also use Glam Bice paints. So you're gonna see me uh, applying them in the video. So just the basics. Uh, I use the Lisa Edward palette for the white and black. I used kimchi uh, mojito palette for the green and I used uh, a little bit of revolution palette just for the purples off camera because this uh, the flower was coming out a little bit uh, bland so uh, if you want to see what happens I'm going to do voiceover so I could collect my thoughts and just do it without talking and then I could do voiceover over. I did not paint my hands, that's why I'm hiding them because it's just like I was, I'm like, I'm over it. So before we go into tutorial, let's do the Russian word of the day. And clearly the Russian word of the day should be earth because this is like very earthy, trees and greens. So earth is zimlia, very simple, very short. So I'm gonna put Russian on top right corner and oh, top left corner and the uh, Cyrillic alphabet and then pronunciation right below Zimlia. So Zimlia, Mat Zimlia, which is Mother Earth, Mat Zimlia. So there you have it, Mat Zimlia. If you want to use it in a sentence below, you're welcome. <laughs> so let's get right into this tutorial. The wig cap goes on first and now I'm covering my eyebrow microblading with CoverGirl uh, concealer which covers my eyebrow microblading very well, pat it in. These are profusion face and body paint so I mix them well to create a green color and I'm applying it with a brush. It kind of felt wet on my face so I was a little concerned about it and I'm trying to blend it but you'll see what's gonna happen. As I'm blending it, it feels odd. It feels like a mixture of oil and water, which we know oil and water don't mix, so and that's what happened. Create kind of bold spots. So I switched to my trusty Amazon face paints and they work real well. Set it with powder and I'm using a Foera 
gel eyeliner from uh, Aliexpress and this is very creamy so I always feel like I need to set it afterwards because it never dries on its own so I'm just dragging it out to create uh, just a smoky eye look I kind of went with what I was feeling like I didn't even know where I was going with it I kind of went with what I, I wanted to do and I dragged it out far there you go so the other eye is already done so I'm going with ABH Alisa Edwards palette and I'm using a little guard from a palette uh, so the black doesn't fall out so I'm setting the eyeliner and creating more smoky effect and I'm using a uh, kimchi mojito virgin mojito palette to add some green like fairy stones to green the dark the light and a little bit of yellow to uh, blend it all out and to create this earthy green grass look and it's all about the trees to me, the grass, that's what I wanted to create. So I'm using uh, LA Girl Yellow Eyeliner on the waterline and the Bright Matte uh, Beauty Bay palette for the contour, all kinds of greens. There is dark green, light green and so on. And yeah, I want it to be really contoured and snatched for this. Although it's a Halloween look, but I still want to be snatched, even if I'm a tree. I want to be a snatch to the house tree. <laughs> so yeah, I contour the forehead and I'm using a small old elf brush to contour my nose. I wanted to create more of a harsh contour line to really, really snatch it. Uh, the drag style, you know, it's not a drag queen style look, but it's all drag after all. All kind of makeup looks like this. Uh, to me, all about drag. So I'm mixing it with yellow, so yellow blends out green to make the nose really, really snatched. And I'm using Foyera, uh, not Foyera, Focalure eyeliner to create the trees. So I'm using uh, the eyeliner, the felt tip eyeliner, and this is the tree branches. This was actually a very enjoyable part of this. I love painting this. It kind of, at this point, I was really enjoying the look. Before I didn't know where I was going, but now I'm kind of really liking it. So I used an old uh, pencil, just a cheap pencil from Wet n Wild, brown eyeliner, uh, brow liner, I think. And this is creating kind of a bark, tree bark texture, just to add a little blinds. And these are the Glam Bites water uh, activated liners. So it's time for some leaves. I wanted to paint the leaves so they really pop bright. And I think the water activated uh, paints like this, the cake liners are the best. So I have the green and I have the yellow one. So I'm adding a little dimension. And I'm using the Midas Cosmetics palette for the cake liners to add the white and the light purple. So I bought those plastic flowers from Amazon. And I'm gonna use them as accessories. And they have white, yellow and purple flowers. So I wanted to go with this, that kind of color scheme, the purple, yellow, and white. So all the colors in that kind of color story. And I'm drawing some white beard here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm just adding a little bit of a, a tree bark, like a dried up tree. And some trees have white on it. So I wanted to add that as well to add a little dimension and uh, variations of color. And I always kind of fancy the flower on my mouth. I don't know why, but I, I like the idea of flower on my mouth. So I was just like obsessed with that. <laughs> so I did the flower. And it's a little oval, yeah. So I, I fixed that off camera. So I used white oil paint. And then I set it with powder. And then I tried to use uh, the water activated Midas cosmetic paints to use purple but the purple in it's kind of pastel so as you can see it's real light so once I realized it was too light I decided to add um, eyeshadow you can use any eyeshadow I just used like a dark purple light purple from some old revolution palette so you see the colors are way lighter so and I went in the middle of the mouth with some water paints too to add yellow and green and I used some water paints on my eyelashes Oh, the eyelashes are from an old look I did. Um, my husband kind of helped me to paint them with a white uh, craft, arts and crafts paint. <laughs> so, those are real stiff eyelashes. 
And now I'm highlighting. I never highlight Halloween looks like this usually, but I'm like, I am might as well be a highlighted, a lit up tree for this look, <laughs> because, I mean, what kind of tree am I if I don't like highlight? A blinding highlight for this tree. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, here's the look. The flower in my mouth and the flowers from Amazon as well. Okay, so you, as you can see, I finally can speak now. So this is going to be all in uh, fast forward voiceover because this is a lot and this was a lot of work. So, and I didn't know where I was going with it until I started painting. So now I'm um, kind of a, a tree in the forest and everything. Uh, pretty much a mother earth that I wanted to create. So yeah. I don't know how I feel about the flower on my mouth that I painted, but I'm just gonna go with it and call it a day because I already painted it. <laughs> so this was like from Amazon, I get these flowers. So I made the headpiece just by using, uh, honestly, I just used scotch tape, taped it all together because <laughs> I was like, I ain't having it with it. I don't have time. So I did that. This was from Amazon, the wig. The wig is like 12 bucks, easy. Uh, I'm gonna try to list the items if you're interested. The flowers are cute, actually. If I didn't destroy them altogether, I might still be able to use them, like put them in a vase. Um, yeah, that's like the remains of them. And uh, the paint uh, are from Amazon as well, the face paint. So yeah, but the, the face paint from Amazon just works well. So I, I just did like a little bit of like a tree bark here and uh, the painted trees on my, on my cheeks, yeah, and the flower. I'm not sure what flower it is, just a flower. So this is the end of this video. Uh, like this video, it will help me and uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the links are down in the description box. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, would you do something like this for Halloween? It's a lot of work though, I'm just warning you. <laughs> so. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet uploaded on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time and also go live on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific time as well, which is 5 p.m. in UK. Don't forget to ring notification bell below so YouTube notifies you when I upload. Uh, so come Sunday for the live. We all have fun and do crazy makeup and have fun in chat. <laughs> so and sometimes I have special guests too. So thank you for all the patrons that joined my Patreon group. I really appreciate your help, guys. So if you're interested in that, the link is down in the description box as well. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.